Celtics. <laughs> well, hello again. Welcome to the back bench where we discuss the week's biggest political talking points. And this one is certainly getting a lot of attention. Here it is. A Sesame Street inspired stunt, we could call it, by the Labor Party featuring the debt monster. Not unlike the cookie monster, it is criticising the Barnett government spending and causing a few laughs as well. Joining us this morning, uh, we've got Labor's Rita Safiotti, who... Good morning. I must say, star of the video. Oh, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Well, and also from the Liberal Party, Peter Katzenbartis. Good morning to you, Peter. Good morning, Tim. Uh, I'll ask you first, uh, Rita. Look, sure. the Premier has come out and, not a great surprise, called this immature. Mm. I've got to say, we, we did sort of sample some reactions sure. from random people uh, yesterday in the community. Um, a lot of the, the reaction from them was that it was a bit silly. Yeah. But here we are today talking about it. Well, look, is debt, that your primary objective? Debt's a very serious issue and the Labor Party's been talking about the out of control spending and the record debt levels that Colin Barnett's inflicting on the community. We've talked about it in all forums, in speeches, in Parliament. We've talked about it in all forums. I've spoken about it here. This was another method of communicating it. It was a funny method. Of course, some people will criticise it, but political parties do this all the time. The Liberal Party stood next to a giant cow during the 2010 election campaign. That's so, true. So these things happen, but we're very Sorry, serious. Sorry, can I just interrupt you? What, what, what's happened? What, what's, what was Ben White doing today? I think he was rocking the debt monster <laughs> on a rocking horse. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. We weren't sure. Yeah, no, that was <laughs> what, that's, what he, that's what he's doing. Peter. What was the reaction from you and your colleagues when, when this first surfaced? It, you, you must have been on the phones to each other. Look, Tim, running the state is a serious business and Western Australia deserves good government. It doesn't deserve sideshows. And, you know, people in the past have said that Mark McGowan's a bit of a Muppet. He's brought the Muppet Show out as his alternative plan. The fact is that Labor don't have a plan. Um, if, they're inter if they're concerned about the debt, if they're concerned about the deficit, what schools are they going to... Um, shut down? What hospitals are they not going to build? How many public servants are they going to sack? They don't want to reveal the truth. So what they do instead is they throw to vaudeville. And it's a joke. And I think the public are going to see right through it that these jokers cannot be trusted to run the state. Can I ask, how did, how did this whole idea come about? Well, sure. Look, the issue is that debt is a real issue. And it's a serious issue that we've been raising a number of times. I mean, I'm glad people are taking this issue seriously now. The fact that it took a guy dressed up in a suit for people mm. to take debts, the Liberal Party to take it seriously, I'm happy about that. But basically, it came about because what we're trying to show is that this issue is with us for generations to come. That we've created something that is going to impact on the future service delivery and future infrastructure delivery. The Barnett government hasn't taken debt seriously. For seven years, we've been warning about the levels of debt. They haven't taken it seriously. Like I said, I'm glad it took someone dressed up for the Liberal Party to take debt seriously. I mean, maybe we should have done it earlier because we were warning the Barnett government that their out of control spending, their wrong priorities would impact service and infrastructure delivery. And we're seeing that through privatisation of Fremantle Port, through cuts to schools. So I think it's a very serious issue. We've been pointing it out. The government scoffed and laughed at us when we said debt was an issue. And now I'm glad it's taken someone dressed up in a monster suit for the Liberal Party to take it seriously. Well, just on the theme of uh, videos to uh, get the message across, we might show you now another one. This has been produced by uh, the town of Bassendine, featuring their uh, their colourful mayor, John Gangel. Uh, we're just going to see a little clip now. You could believe, and can tell you where you live in the town of Bassendine. Since a nasty shot to piss us off, Barnett, hot crap. There you go. It goes on for about five or so minutes. Um, I'm not going to say whose is better, Rita, but uh, yet it again, a bit more professional Peter, now. we've got some colourful comedic videos, but with a serious message, I think, from their point of view, uh, having a crack at, uh, at your boss, the Premier. What do you make of that one? Again, where's the message in that? Well, Look, the message is at pretty the end, clear in that. The they don't the want day. to amalgamate. They were asking for a proper explanation from the Premier why they should be changing their council boundaries. They amalgamations think, get your are, hands off our that's Amalgamations the are long clear. gone. They're not an issue that's on the table. It's all over. That whole issue has been settled. And now 
the town of Bassendine, it's going to be up to their ratepayers to, to work out whether that's a good use of ratepayers' money rather than fixing potholes in roads, I'm rather sure than making sure they got the, that video I, cost I don't know way. either. It looks <laughs> relatively slick and I, I'm sure that they'd have <laughs> some sort of uh, royalties they'd have to pay for the music. So, you know, it all costs money, it all costs time. I'd rather have council bureaucrats actually doing the real work that councils are meant to do rather than coming up with these stunts. And again, what well, is it about wanting to trivialise you guys? Politics? You guys are guilty of pulling out the odd stuffed animal or, or prop or stunt as well. Oh, they're, well, they're, occasionally, they're, um, occasionally all political parties have this habit. I just think it's unedifying, whether we do it or Labor do it or councils do it. All right. Uh, we, we were desperate to get the debt monster in here this morning, but... Unfortunately, it was a rental suit, apparently, and it had to go back yesterday. Apparently, apparently we're all so broke you couldn't afford to buy the uh, the debt monster. Yeah, apparently, it was out for suit. a day. Out for a yeah. day. All right, what a shame. Uh, I think it's going to be dead and buried after its uh, reaction. <laughs> Wow. It's been a great reaction because yes. we're oh. talking about the Liberal Party's record debt levels today. No, we're talking today. about Labor has no, no plan no. to deal with you the debt. No all debt. they've got you is no sideshows and vaudeville. No that's all you've got. We're running a future. state. We're you've building the infrastructure the that's needed. That's the you know that, Rita. All right. Well, the debt monster is at least got a Twitter account as well. So you can keep up. he lives on in the digital world at least. Rita and Peter, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Sorry thank you. we couldn't get the debt monster in here too. Thank you, guys. See you next Cheers. week.